As Alex mentioned, communication about projects has become an obligation. And this is not because we want to impose another duty on our beneficiaries. It is because we absolutely confident that, com that communicating with the society actually pays off for everyone and it's worth every single minute spent on it. So why are we so confident? Well, for a number of reasons. Firstly, it is about ourselves. Uh, we are, it is, can be greatly satisfying on personal level to go outside our own environment and to share our passions and our su successes. Well, researchers are not different and they usually love to talk about their work, but often it is complex and it's not easy to explain. So it needs more effort to be understood. Well, there is another reason why communication is important. It is about society. Beneficiaries of EU funding receive money to, the, to do their work. This money is taxpayers' money, money that has been given by all of us. So it is only natural that the beneficiaries should talk to the taxpayers and show how the public money is spent. And of course, what are the outcomes and how these outcomes impact our lives. Indeed, it is essential to gain more acceptance, trust and support from our society. In order to justify how the public money is spent, people need to know more about research and innovation and about those who create it, who, are, who contribute to it. The more people know about these fields, the more trust and openness created. And the more this is done, the more we will be able to stand up to those questioning the, the expenditures on research and innovation. Which leads us to another reason why good communication is so important. It is all about money. In his excellent article about science communication, Carl Safina noticed that even if you are living in the ivory tower, unfortunately, you have to pay the rent from time to time. To get money to, to pay the rent, you have to sell what you're doing. This is where strategic communications can help. To find financial backers or licenses, to generate market demand for the products or services that you create to draw the attention of national governments, public and, pu and private funding sources to the needs and eventual benefits of the research. The policy makers are the ones taking the decisions. Good communication provides a possibility to enlighten the politicians who will then defend this specific interest, for example, when negotiating the budgetary priorities. Last but not least, the, a good communication strategy may increase the success rate in the proposals that you submit for EU funding. It can build the reputation and become a, success, a, a trusted source, which can be extremely beneficial. In the next slide, we selected 10 tips, we selected top tips that will help you communicate effectively. I will go through the, sub, through the titles. So, Think, plan, act strategically. You can't reach everyone. Think issue, not project. Make it relevant to every, everyday life. Be creative. Go to the mindset of the media. Think global, act local. Build your brand and reputation. 